Hello, everyone. This is Hao Yuan from Samsung Semiconductor. I'd like to introduce our paper, Soul Learn, Joint Supervised and Supervised and Liquid Learning Module for Monoclear Depth Estimation. In this paper, we propose a framework Soul Learn for concurrent learning based on different learning strategies, supervised and supervised and liquid supervised. We show that when mixing these learning strategies, it generally improves the performance, such as the estimation accuracy and generalization capability. We show its good usage on the monitor depth estimation. And we also investigate different load functions for the SUW modules respectively. And we propose a kind of patch-based, novel weak supervised loads, which achieves superior performance compared to existing pixel pair-based loads. Here is the overview of our solar framework. It consists of three modules, supervised learning S and supervised learning U and supervised learning W. During the training, these three SUW modules, they are joint optimized. In contrast, during the prediction, only the supervised learning module S is utilized. So that means the proposed solar framework, it doesn't increase any complexity during the prediction. And in addition, we noticed that the output depth map here of frame T, which is actually the output of the supervised learning module S, will be fed into the unsupervised learning U and the supervised learning W. That means the accuracy of the DT can be refined by when we optimizing the U and W. And here are more details. So for SUW, so when we're doing the monocular depth estimation, the supervised learning module S estimated the depth DT of the input frame T based on some depth estimation framework and it optimize, it minimize a supervised loss function, loss function as LS here. And the unsupervised learning module U, it takes multiple frames. It's a kind of three frames, for example, IT minus one to IT. And then it estimates the relative camera pose, which is angle motion, as well as the object motion, rigid motion. And this motion can be used together with the estimate depth map from the supervised learning module to do the 2D to 3D inverse projection and then do the warping to check whether the motion and depth correspond to the 2D to 3D information and so that the accuracy of the estimate depth map can be refined. The idea of the wiki supervised learning module is that we can catch two pixel pair or two regions where the regions is our proposal. And then we can say that the pixel region one should be further or closer than pixel two or region two. We check whether this further closer relationship, this consistency can be found in our estimate depth map DT. And then that means the accuracy of DT can be further refined. So when we generate these pixel or region pairs, we generate them from semantic map to make it weakly supervised. For example, we say that sky should always be further than cars, trees, and then we can get one pixel or one region from sky and another pixel or another region from a tree. And then we check whether this further relationship can be found in our estimate depth map. We use benchmark data site then to evaluate our performance on monitor depth estimation. In the commonly used KT data site, we can see that our solar framework so can achieve the best accuracy compared to existing state of the art. We have very low errors here. And we also evaluate the robustness on some other to domain images, totally different. So to achieve this target, we can try a kind of M and M data set where the images come from mega depths and molecular. So they are from totally different sources and also has a lot of persons. We can see that our solar can still have very good accuracy. And then it also works well on the wild images. Thanks.